I'm going to shift us again. Um, Salim, to do this cut over, I will need you to tell us a little bit about the EXO attribute crowd, community, and engagement. So I'm going to address a question slash comment from Michael Freeby in Germany, uh, but to do so, I need to start with what is crowd, community, and engagement? Well, we have a bunch of attributes in the EXO model. Um, um, MTP scale as externalities and ideas as internal mechanisms. And um, C on the scale is community and crowd, which is if you're an EXO, you pretty much have to use your MTP to create a community around yourself. And then uh, there's incentive prizes and mechanisms to turn crowd into community. And then we use engagement like Octalysis uh, dynamics to to manage community and amplify and get them more involved and engaged in the MTP. The engagement aspect is one of the specific techniques uh, you would use. Uh, and we used to just have a blanket concept for gamification and then incentive prizes. Uh, essentially what Octalis allows us to do is go really deep into that and add the richness of the model and basically essentially slot that into the whole of engagement just go do this, uh, essentially, um, yeah. and follow the framework. Um, so that's the quick summary of those. The others are staff on demand, which is the Uber model of not hiring your own staff and leveraged assets. So SCA and algorithms and data science, data analytics is the middle one. So combination of all of those, but a community and crowd and engagement are absolutely critical. And I'll go back to my comment from earlier. Every successful blockchain is basically taking community and adding crypto economics to it for to accelerate engagement. Yes. And so Michael is bringing up DAOs and he's bringing up communities. And I don't think those are necessarily interchangeable. Uh, but what his question is, is how do you how do you and I'm saying you Metablocks uh, uh, with your Web3 project want to stimulate interaction between groups, between community members uh, and possibly in a in a DAO like fashion? or a cooperative fashion where value to everyone is increasing. So if my block gets more valuable and my memories get preserved forever, what are the ways that, that you're stimulating or incentivizing um, actions that lead to win states where the value increases for everyone? Yeah, so I think it's, it's a... Uh... It's up to say community and DAOs are separate. Some DAOs can be run without a community, just with smart contracts. And um, and so I think what we're focusing on, so we're maybe because we come from a Web2 background, we're, we first want to focus on making sure, uh, just like what Jun Chuck talked about, the product is good, the experience is good, and we want to, you know, uh, start from there, hone in, refine, and as the product gets better and better, it makes more sense that people are using it and, and form community over that. And we understand that's a di little different from other a lot of other Web3 product projects where they first build a community and what, they have a white paper, they build a community over that. Then with the community, they raise, they have them, they get the money, and then they, then they build the product. And I think sometimes what happens there is that uh, they realize they're unable to build a product, right? Which is why there's a lot of not not malicious but just in unintent or uh unintentful like rug pulls where it's like oh we just didn't know how to build a product to begin with so we're a little bit old school so we want to you know we have a community but we're not we're spending almost all our energy and some of you have might have noticed that too on making sure we're creating a compelling experience of product with a strong value proposition and then patiently growing the community uh, alongside mm -hmm. that with the that's aligned with our long-term vision so um and, I, and so part of the product vision is that, you know, we want to make sure that whales don't just come and take everything. So we have concepts about um, uh, collectives. So basically, uh, in the long-term vision, basically what we want is people uh, invest into MetaBlocks, the community, uh, generate a lot of meta rent, which is a whole different story we talked about, and they use the meta rent to bid to own the, the landmarks of, of the world, because they're the epitome of what we stand for, right? A, a physical location mm. that stands for a, a important memory in human history that's worth preserving. Um, and so, but we don't want just the wealthiest people to just come in and just snatch up these landmarks. So we also have a, a feature mechanism that's called collectives, which is a lot of smaller players can band together to form a collective. 
and then they can then they can outbid the whale. In which case, now this collective, which you can see it's as a DAO, well, we're still mm -hmm. discussing best structure for that. Uh, now owns the the landmark, and now they can decide and vote if they want to sell it for research. They can invest more into the community with different NFT blocks. Do they want to keep it? Do they want to do whatever with it? And that's something that we think a lot about community and how to make sure um, it's not just a few big players benefiting, but but everyone gets to be part of the game. That's great. June, did you want to add anything or uh, we've got a few more things? I, I think you, you kind of covered it well. You kind of designed it. Um, and I mean, I, I have many more things to add, but uh, <laughs> let's continue. And right on. So a couple of quick shout outs. Michael uh, is letting us know that the first electric car was built in 1898. I did not remember that. Thank you, Michael. Uh, Fabrizio uh, says something about we're lemmings. Uh, so keep, I guess, keep an eye on that. <laughs> We've got Anne Buthello, who has said uh, she's agreeing with you, June. Start within, then at home, then community, then the globe. Thank you, Anne, for that uh, sharing. And Luca says, uh, sorry for being late. Luca, thank you for being late, to quote Thomas Friedman. Uh, and we, we can keep on moving. So.